All right, shalom, makim, shalom, yabashmel, shai, a thumb to my dear brothers out there, little amount of sisters that's holding down the word of the Heavenly Father in spirit and in truth, all right? Hey, may the Heavenly Father continue to be with you in your house, all right? Before we start, though, let's give all praise to our God, our power, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, Shai, by Hashem, Harakakwadash, Yahweh, that's the name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Shai, that's the beloved Son, divine to the apostles over there, a great millstone in peace and mercy once again. To you, brother, and that's uh, that's of the household of the elect, all right. Hey, this lesson right here, beautiful character building. Let's talk about it the life and the struggles, you know, the mindset, the struggling mindset of a man that's chasing after the Heavenly Father's heart, man. That's what we finna talk about. Your integrity always being tried, your character always being built, and um. Hey, brothers, you, as you know, from the moment that you entered into the truth, you're being tried to see if, if you're going to pass these different tests from the Heavenly Father. Every time you wake up in the morning, brothers, you got to understand that there's going, there is a set amount of tests that you're going to go through that's going to prove your integrity, that's going to prove your faith, that's going to build your character. And the Heavenly Father has set up that collage of different tests and that's what's going and that's something the men of the lord we we in a constant in a constant mindset of dealing with this and dealing with this and dealing with this and dealing with this matter of fact i had this quote right here it says integrity is the heart of character don't lose it now that's what the heavenly father inquires of us he inquired for us and of us to keep our integrity no matter what test he put on you. And everything, like just like the elder I not stated back some years, everything is spiritual. Everything is a test. Everything is a character building or some type of fashion of the Heavenly Father trying to build you up. And you have to see it like that. You know? So it said integrity is the heart of your character. If you keep integrity through your different trials, your different tryings, you keep your integrity, that's the heart of the that's the heart of you building your character. It's just it reminds me of if any brother know about um Captain Planet, that old cartoon, and they had the different characters that held different powers. You know? One of them was water, earth, you know. One of them was fire, but one of them was heart. Now, if you look at the different characters, the one that had heart, he was like the the scrawniest of all of them. But with his heat, they needed his portion of heart to bring out Captain Planet. But he was like the scrawniest of all of them. But he was the one that was the heart of the a heart of it. So your integrity is is similar to him. Integrity, sometimes um, holding integrity will make you look weak. Sometimes holding integrity um, will make you upset, upset because you have to humble. You know, sometimes a lot of times, almost, almost, shit, seventy five percent of the time, integrity is pushed down. But. The Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shemel Shai, he placed the spirit in his men of the Lord to not worry about and care about what other people think about the integrity he wants us to have. You know? Matter of fact, let's go right here to the book of Job. Um, I'm going to type in integrity. We jump to the book of Job. Um... 13, I believe it's Job 13 and 15. It's Job chapter 13, verse. Yep, it says 15. It says, Though he slay me, yet will I trust in him. I will maintain my own eyes before him. You see that? So you're going through your different trials and situations. Sometimes it hurts, man. That shit fucking really hurts. You know, it's like somebody slaying you. You know, your mind is all confused and and and, uh, and and like like confetti popped out of a out of a gun 
your minds burst all everywhere. Though the Lord slay you, we still going to trust in him. We still going to maintain that integrity that the Heavenly Father gave us, man. You see? So, so whatever somebody thinks about what the choices we make in the Lord, who cares? Because we're keeping our integrity, man. Matter of fact, when you read Job the two, you read Job two and, and nine, it says, uh, Job two. Let's let's read Job twenty seven. Uh, in in five, it says, "The heavenly Father forbid that I should justify you. Till I die, I will not remove my integrity from me." So, your integrity should be kept till you die, man. Period, man. Period. And your integrity is is like the number one thing you have that 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 proves that proves to yourself and proves to the heavenly Father that you love Him. It's your integrity. Your integrity, you can't so much get your integrity and show somebody like, hey, this is my integrity. No, integrity is always shown through actions. You know, that's all the way integrity is shown through action. That's all you have is your, how you're going to, how, how you dealing amongst people, your, your integrity in that fashion and, 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 um, the integrity you have when nobody is around. And that's what proves to the Heavenly Father whether you believe in him or not. It's your integrity in this thing. You know? Let's look up this word integrity real quick. It goes, damn, I, that's the spirit. The, the Hebrew word is crucial, man. It's the, it's the Hebrew word, the mom, the ma. Which means whole. It says integrity right here, but the mom means whole. Or it says, down here it says innocent. You know, when I'm dealing with, when I'm dealing period with anybody at the end of the day, I don't want to be able to, I don't want to get this person blamed. I don't want you to be able to blame me and say I did anything to you. And bro, if, if, uh, if a brother may, let me know if that, if that, uh, if the, 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 I got fire playing in the back. Let me know if that's too loud. You know, if the sound effect of fire is too loud, but it said in innocency. You know, so so when I, you may not like me. You may not like something I. You may not like um, how I come off. You may not like the the high energy I have. But regardless, if you're not liking my my my, the, you know the different characters I have, I don't want you to be able to say that I'm, I'm wicked. I don't have no integrity. I don't never want nobody to be able to say that about me. Even though, and if a man does say that about me, it should be a lie. It should be him lying. You see? That's what that's what you want in this thing. Now, when you go to the Hebrew, the root word of that, that Hebrew word is thumb. And like I was saying, it says completeness, fullness, innocency. You see? And then when you go down, it says usually morally innocent, perfect. <clears throat> now, let me. That made me lead to this. Let's go right here to Matthew's real quick. When you read Matthew's, because I've always did. I thought about this verse since I came into the truth, and I always thought like, damn, how, how, like, it doesn't really, it didn't make sense to me, and I always tried to make sense of it, and the Heavenly Father gave me this understanding. Now, check this out. When you jump to the book in Matthew 5 and 48, it says, Be ye therefore perfect, even as your Father, which is in heaven, is perfect. So I always say, man, hold up. Wait, how could we be perfect? How could we be perfect? Like, I'm, you try to be perfect, and then next thing you know, you're doing something off. You know? I remember trying to be perfect, and I could not do it. Something came, got right in the way that made me not perfect. And I, it was nothing I could do about the situation that got put in my face. It just, I had to go through it. So I always thought to myself, what did the Father mean by being perfect? And just as just as we read in uh, Integrity, in the book of Job, when the Heavenly Father said, be therefore perfect, he means keeping your integrity. 
You know? Being blameless. All right? Being innocent. That's what he means. Because when you're being blameless, innocent, keeping your integrity, in the sight of the Heavenly Father, um, you will be seen as perfect. You want to know why? Because, let me show you this. Uh, here we go. Check this out. This is why you will be perfect in the sight of the Heavenly Father. Uh, and I got two precepts, actually. Uh, Psalms 32 and 2 says, Blessed is the man whom the Lord imputeth not iniquity, in whose spirit there is no guile. You see? Because you kept your integrity. You was innocent in the situation. Say, for instance, if, even if you did something that was wrong in the situation, there are such things as doing things wrong um, in ignorance. You didn't know. That's the reason why you honestly did it wrong. That's the reason why you did whatever you did because you didn't really, you did not to the core of your spirit understand what was going on. You know, and that's the reason why you messed up. So there's an innocency still there. That same situation plays with the 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 apostle um, Paul. You know, that same situation played with him. He had he made havoc of the church, but the heavenly Father Yahweh Bashmi Shai, knew that he did it in his innocency. He did it in his integrity of his heart, and the Lord imputed not his sin. There's guys out there. They're they're wicked. It's they're purposely wicked, brothers. And they know they're wicked. That's not integrity. And the Lord knows that of that man. He may trick us. He may fool me. He may fool you. He may fool a woman and get her her pennies. But who he's not fooling is the judge. Which is Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, man. <clears throat> Let me see. Because if the Heavenly Father, uh, what was that scripture? Let me see. Let me see, two. Because if the Heavenly Father bypasses your faults and he reads your heart and he says the integrity there, who the fuck could say anything else? Nobody can. Let me see. Uh, I think the word charge is in there. Let me see. Here we go. Romans 8 and, and 33 says, Who shall lay anything to the charge of the Heavenly Father's elect? Is the Heavenly Father that justifieth. You see that right there? Because going all the way back to when we read in Matthews, be therefore perfect even as your Father in heaven is perfect. The Heavenly Father knows your mind. He knows if you really in if you really about this thing, if you have integrity of this thing. And he tries you. He tries you, man. You know, the Heavenly Father knows. He know. So, when the Lord, the, the whoever the Lord chose, you can't lay nothing to their charge because the Father has imputed their sins. You know, it don't matter if they actually broke the statute laws and commandments, one of them, and they sinned. The Father, Yahweh Shemel Shai, searched his mind of his heart and said, nah, this guy's integrity his character, it's all innocent. This is an innocent man right here. You see? That's how the Heavenly Father deals, man. So, we 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 constantly, at every day, when you jump to the book of Job 7, Job 7 and, and, and 17 says, What is man that thou shouldst magnify him, and that thou shouldst set thy heart upon him? And that thou shouldest visit him every morning and try him every moment. You're always constantly being tried. The Heavenly Father, if you don't know about the Heavenly Father by now with dealing with trying, you need to do a little bit more reading. You need to be a little bit more circumspect because from the beginning of the book, Jake is being tried. From the beginning of the book, as soon as you crack that, the scriptures open. 
Jake is being tried. The third chapter, Jake is being tried. They was told, Adam and Eve was told not to eat of the garden. That was the trying right there. The father always seeing who really believes and who really don't. Who's really innocent and who's really, whose heart is really evil. Always, constantly, man. And that's the reason why you're always tried every moment, like the scripture just said. You get up in the morning, you have a set amount of trials that you finna go through that day. To see if you have integrity. To see if you really, are you are you just a hearer of the word or are you a doer of the word? You know? And I ask the Heavenly Father always at a constant rate to Baba Kusha, let me pass the tests. Let me not sin against you. And I get upset when I don't pass tests because you're not going to actually pass every test. You're not Yahweh Shah. You're not going to pass every single test. But there's a there's a, that's why the scripture is talking about contrite spirits, men of broken hearts. It's like, fuck. If I just did this and that, I could have fucking been in good. I, I thought to do it and I didn't do it. Fuck. You know? But this all, like the latter portion of the lesson said, it builds your character. It's constantly, the Heavenly Father is building your character by trying you every moment. You have a set amount of tests that you get tried every uh, throughout the day. And it's to prove, it's to prove you. You know? It's a solid scripture, the kingdom within. The brother put Micah 7 and 18. It says, Who is a God like unto thee that part of iniquity and passeth by the transgressions of the remnant of his heritage? He retaineth not his anger forever because he delighteth in mercy. You see that right there? So at the end of the day, King David asked the Heavenly Father to remember that we're just men. We are just men. You know? That's all we are. You see? And... If the Heavenly Father didn't have mercy on us, we'll be doomed. But he does have mercy. That's the reason why he, he searched. Let's read this in Jeremiah 17 and 9. It says, The heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Who can know it? Our minds, this flesh, oh yeah. You're not going to win. Like As the scriptures, Yahweh Shai said, the, um, the flesh profiteth nothing. You see? But it says, I, the Lord, search the heart. I try the reins to give every man according to his ways, according to your integrity, according to your, how are you doing on the planet? If you want to say it like that, according to your integrity, the different tests he put you in. You know, he searches your mind and we know our mind is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. That's where your sin come out of your mind. Before sin become an action, it was a thought first. Sin come out of your mind first. So the Lord searches your mind. He tries the reins. And, and he gives you according to your ways. What did you choose? You know? He put a false doctrine out there. What did he choose? He made a situation happen between you and your brother. How did you deal with it? You know, he put a situation between you and your woman. How did you deal with it? All right. He put a situation between you and somebody at your job. How did you deal with it? You know, matter of fact, the Lord actually humbled you and put you in a lower state. How did you deal with it? He put you on punishment or he did something to you that he judged you. How did you deal with it? That's why the Lord said, I searched the heart. I tried the reins to give every man according to his ways and according to the fruit of his doings. So to keep your integrity is very important. It's very important. That's the heart of your character. That's what's going to build up your character. You know? <clears throat> Now, Job said this. Job said in Job 23 and 10. 
It says, but he know the way that I take. The Lord knows the way. He knows everything he put you in. It says, when he have tried me, I shall come forth as gold. That's what we, that should be the goal of you to come forth as gold. That's what I'm trying to do, bros. That's what you should be trying to do. Really, you should be really believing in this thing. If you really believe in this thing, you're going to try to come forth as gold. Even if times get boring, if times, it's like a gap in a space, it get boring. You're still on top of it. You're having a shitty day, you're still on top of it. You're having a blessed day. You're not walking around prideful, though, because you're having a blessed day. Or you're around a bunch of brethren and the spirit is high. Just because the spirit is high don't mean you act prideful. You still maintain your integrity. You still try to come forth as gold. It says, my foot have he held his steps. His way have I kept and not declined. So that's what you're going to do. You're going to keep the ways of the Lord, as, as the scriptures tell you in um, the Apocrypha, that wisdom going to meet you in every thought. Any situation you get put in, wisdom should be meeting you in that thought, whether what you need to do to remain blameless and to, to um, keep your integrity to do the right thing. You know? It says, neither have I gone back from the commandment of his lips. I have esteemed the words of his mouth more than my necessary food. And that's what you really should have in your mind. Like, the word of the Lord is more important than you eating. That's what he said. He said he, 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 he take more care to the word of the Heavenly Father even before the food that sustains his actual flesh. And when you're doing that, because the scriptures talk about putting nothing before the Heavenly Father, you can't put your family, you can't put yourself before the Heavenly Father. That includes uh, the food that you eat. You can't put that before the Heavenly Father because the Heavenly Father was the one that gave you food to even eat in the first place. It says, but he is in one mind and who can turn him? And what is what his soul desire, even that he doeth. The Lord going to do whatever he want. He going to do whatever he want, and you're going to have to just deal with it. It says, for he performeth the thing that is appointed for me. <laughs> Check that out, bros. Listen to that, that verse I just read. It, just said, it says, for he performeth the thing that is appointed for me. Whatever the Lord has for you, you're going to deal with that. You're going to go through it, and you're going to do the full set measure of it as well. It says, and many such things are with him. Therefore, I am troubled at his presence. You get put in situation with the Lord trying you, man. And it's troubling sometimes. Fuck. You're just trying to make sure you do the right thing. It says, when I consider, I am afraid of him. And when you get put in your tests, you should be in fear of the Lord. You sh That's why the scriptures tell you in Proverbs, a very, a very solid verse. Proverbs 1 and 7. One of the first things you learn in the truth is Proverbs 1 and 7. It says, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instruction. The point, the point being the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. You see? So... Like like Job just said, when I consider, I am afraid of him. When you getting put in your stuff, you just hoping that you pass this test. You hoping that you keeping your integrity. You hoping that uh, the Heavenly Father is with you and whatever it is he's doing with you. You know? And it's a frightening thing because you don't know. You don't, you hoping you pass the test. You know you, you could become weak here or shit. You know you susceptible to demons or... Whatever. It's a scary thing. It says, For the Heavenly Father maketh my heart soft, and the Almighty troubleth me, because I was not cut off before the darkness, neither have he covered the, the darkness from my face. So, we know Job went through all type of stuff. The Lord allowed it to happen. He allowed Satan to, to basically mollywop Job. You know what I mean? 
And it was nothing Joe could do about it but just take it. And it, it's, it was like, damn, the father is jacking me up. It's a scary thing. But what did Job do? What did Job do? He maintained his integrity, man. And that was a story for us today. Integrity is the heart of the character. Don't lose it. That's how you getting built up. You know? That's how you getting built up. So, let me see how long I've been on here. I don't even know. I don't even know where to tell you at. Let me see. Alright, yeah. Been on a little bit. Let's read this right here in 2 Timothy 2 and 3. It says, There, they are therefore endure hardness. As a good soldier of Yahweh Shah Hamashiach. And the hardness, majority of the time, is coming from your brain. It's coming in your mind, from your mind. That mental, that mental struggle that you have to stay in this word. To still to, to treat the Heavenly Father's word with the most upright care when you're out and about in your everyday life and when you're amongst brethren. When you're doing lessons. You know? It's easy to go off. It's easy to break down a scripture wrong. I actually have a, a saying that I wrote down, it's easy to die, but it's harder to live. You know? Easy to die, harder to live. You know? And I pray we survive, so often we kneel. Okay? You gotta be praying. You gotta ask the Heavenly Father, you gotta ask the Heavenly Father to, to, um, to just help you, help you. There's a scripture that says, one of the one of the dudes told you how shy, help my unbelief. That 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 right there was like wow. Because come tell me how, how why can't you relate with that? You should be able to relate with that. You know? Let me type that in. Damn. Let me see if I type in help my. I'm going to type in Lord with it, maybe. You know what? Let me Google it real quick. Man, I ain't the best speller, brother. So it's a lock you. It's a lock you like a mug, man. Shit. It's goddamn weak ass English ass language. Damn, it ain't right there either. All right, what does it say? Mark. Mark. Let's try Mark 9 and 24. That's a very important. Yeah, that's it right there. I thought I can. <laughs> I ain't the best speller as you brother and see, man. Shit, fuck this English language, man. Uh, but um, I actually fucking doing this. I tried to. I tried out for the spelling bee. I was like the fucking. I was the what? The second person out. <laughs> but um, Mark nine twenty four says, and straightway a thwarted to the kingdom within. As always, brother. Shalom. Yabashima shabakta. It says, and straightway the father of the child cried out and said with tears, Lord. I believe, help thou my unbelief. When I read, you know, that scripture stuck with me because, you know what I'm saying? We, I'm weak, I'm fragile. I, you know, I'm young. I, I don't, you know, I'm hoping the Lord dealing with me. I, uh, you know, a verse like that is a verse that could get you far. It could take you a long way. You got to ask the Heavenly Father to help you in this thing. Help you. You don't got it. And no matter how old you are, no matter how long, you, whatever, however you think about it, you still got to ask the Heavenly Father to help you. You know what I'm saying? You've been broken down uh, generationally, if that's even a word. Generationally, you've been broken down. You didn't grew up in this Esau's world where he didn't push you, drug you through the dirt secretly. Your low self-esteem have been placed in you. Uh, stereotypes been placed on you. 
And society just doesn't give a fuck about you because you're an Israelite and you're cursed. So that, that plays hard on your mind. And you trying to do good now, a lot of times those negative energies and that, that all that pulling down of the world battles you to try to make you not believe or to not think good of yourself. And you got to ask the Heavenly Father to help you. And don't be, don't feel like you're ashamed to do so. Help your unbelief. You see? <clears throat> Let's see. Uh, Let's go back here to Timothy, 2 Timothy 2 and 3. It says, Thou therefore endure hardness as a good soldier of Yahweh Shai. So, at the end of all of it, you just got to endure it. You just have to endure. What what more could I say to you? What you want? What you want me to say? You gonna get a cookie? Nah, brothers, we all in this in this straight gate, this walk that that needs endurance. And and yes, brother, that shit is intense. You know, but nonetheless, um, remember what Yahweh Shai said. He said, <clears throat> "Let's see right here." Yahweh Shai said this. Uh, 1 Corinthians 15, uh, 1, 1 Corinthians 15 and 57 says, But thanks be to Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh, thanks be to Yahweh, which giveth us the victory through our Lord Yahweh Shah Mashiach. We got the victory already. Whoever that you're going to get the victory, whoever that elect is, they're going to get the victory. So, and doing a hardness, you just gotta you just gotta take it for what it is. You have to, whatever you dealing with. And shit, you may be dealing with something worse than I'm dealing with, bro. You may be. But still having your integrity. That's what makes you a brother. And that's what builds you into the different attributes you have, your character. Oh, this brother's known for giving. Or this brother's known for, you know, he's going to bring the energy to us. Or he's going to make sure that we ain't down. He's going to, you know, this brother right here, he's going to, you know, he's going to make sure, you know, everything. He's overseeing things. And however it is, you know, it says, No man that wharf entangled himself with the affairs of this life. So, like I was explaining how this world has dramatically traumatized us. When we're dealing now and we're moving forward, like Paul said, we ain't looking behind us no more, but we're looking at things set forward. Now that we in the Lord, the spirit of Yahweh Shema Shai, freak what Esau did to us. It was wrong. It was off. For him to beat us down like that and tell us we ain't nothing, all this extra, no, that was off. When we're dealing forward now, we're doing, we, we, we focusing on what we need to do for the Lord. And we having that joy and holding our integrity in doing so, regardless if anybody's around or if it's a million people around. It says that he may please him who have chosen him to be a soldier. And we doing this because we want to please our heavenly father. And we know that in order to please the heavenly father, that comes through faith. Well, it takes faith to have your integrity. It takes faith to, to still be about it. When it hurts, it takes faith to still be about it when nobody ain't paying attention. When nobody ain't around. But we pleasing the Lord. <laughs> so like how the northern kingdom say, fuck it. So fuck it, fool. Fuck it. Fuck it, man. We pleasing y'all by Shemel Shai. So fuck it. You know what I mean? It says, him who have chosen him to be a soldier. We've been chosen to, to be the soldier. It says, and if any man also strive for the masteries, you want to be perfect. You want to be innocent that the Lord imputed not to sin. It says, yet he is not crowned except he strive lawfully, doing it correct, holding your integrity, taking every step in the staircase. I'm taking every step. And if I go a little slower than you, bro, hey, con. Well, you move a little faster. I know I'd move this slow. You know, I'm on my own pace in this thing. And I know I believe in the Lord. 
Romans 14 says, Has thou Romans 14 says, Has thou faith? Have it before you how about Shemel was shy. So this ain't a thing of us um trying to show forth our oh, I got more than you, or I have my integrity more than you. I got them. Look, man, I'm moving at my pace and I believe in the Lord. And I hope you do the same. Or and vice versa, if it's a brother that's moving a little slower, you know, you're still dealing correctly and accordingly with that man, you know. So, um, how long I been on here? Let me see real quick. Yeah, I pretty much tagged everything, brothers, in the spread of y'all by Shema Shah. I pretty much tagged everything. Just wanted to talk about integrity. Um, and and, and um, like the title says, your integrity always being tried. You're always being tried. You're always going to be going through something to see if you're really about it. And that's what your character is going to be built. You know what I mean? And that's just how the Lord has set it up for us. And we taking this, we taking this, uh, we taking, we in this ring fighting. We in this ring fighting, taking... All the punches and, and, and doing what we need to do to to win the victory. So I pretty much tagged everything in the spread of Yabash Shemel Shah. Throw out for all the brethren who stopped by, put the little comments on the board and everything. And may the Heavenly Father bless you and be with you. And a little amount of sisters. And with that being said, though, I'm going to say, Shema Yashallah Yahawah Alahainawa. Alahainawa Yahawah Akka, which is Hero Israel, our Lord, our power is one. And is living and breathing right now as I'm doing this lesson. So you brethren stay strong.